and the Dusty Book is officially open for business. Uh, not exactly, but uh, pretty soon. Pretty soon. Got a lot done, a lot going on, and a lot coming. And right now, Viola! Doesn't look like much, but it, right now it's everything. Getting it together, getting it together. Beautiful piece of Russian furniture for all of you that have been interested in Russia. Also a trip that someone took to Russia. I got their whole interesting journey. And it can be yours for the little price of, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Hi, boo. How's it going, Bella boo? That's Bella, she's my baby. Bella. Hello, boo. Come say hi. You say hello, boo. Good girl. Bella's been coming back here with me when I tear open Hot Wheels. I've got a bit of an addiction going right now, as you can see. Uh, this is a little passion of mine at the moment. I'm going to kill this light, though, because the wife would just kill me if she knew it was burning the midnight oil. Welcome to the Dusty Book. Proper. So, this is where a lot of sale stuff's going to be. I'm going to put another shelf, I believe, right here, because I do believe I have the foot space. I have some amazing stuff, folks. Amazing. But, uh, books is not why we're here today. I've been watching a lot of these Hot Wheels unboxings, so I decided I'm going to do one with a display case. So I just bought the whole damn display case and we're going to bust it right now for all of you. Probably asking yourselves, hey, why the hell is there an axe up there? Well, because we're going to use that to tear this box open, ladies and germs. And anyone else? Any of you other creatures of the night who are up with me? Past midnight on a school night. Yes, I am wearing wool socks. We are in the warm state of Ohio, which is actually quite frigid right now. So there's the top of the display box. Now, I don't know what's in here, okay? I've opened another one of these uh, and actually put one up, and as you saw in the other room. Um, this is the whole display. And also in the back here is the bottom, the base. So I'm going to set this camera, hopefully this works, right here, just for a moment. I have a zero budget, folks, so you're just going to have to bear with me or turn the channel down. And this is a big, I mean a big monster of a box. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's, it is, it's a full-blown sickness, this collecting. Um, it's funny, it doesn't look like 144 cars, uh, but it is, and it is a last year case, it's a 2020. And I was very curious, so uh, some of you out there hopefully are watching and know your uh, stuff. And you can uh, help me out by telling me in the comments uh, which are the super treasure hunts or the uh, regular treasure hunts. Uh, like I said, I'm a total novice. I'm going to get another bin over here real quick. Yeah, there you are. <clears throat> because I'm going to use this display. I'm not sure how yet. But most likely it won't go with this exact grouping of cars. Uh, I have a private collection I'm putting together on the displays that were in the other room. And these are going to uh, be going with that. I mean, I guess it's 144 pieces. It's the equivalent of two cases, it says, basically. So we're going to start at the bottom on this one. I don't know, you know, I've never... I've never seen anyone else open one of these, and the last one I opened, I only took pieces parts of. So we're just going to start and take it from the top, as they say, and boom! Right off the top, we got the slide kick. I really like this car. It's a purple variation. 
bad ass, as they say. Shark. Boom. Into the bin. We have a Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. This one I'm excited about because I don't think I have one of these yet. Uh, I've been, like I said, I've been putting a personal collection together and uh, this was not on it. Awesome. And I can already tell that is the uh, Donut Drifter. There we go. Uh, next time I do this, I'm going to have Uncle George with me. I'm actually at his desk at the moment. Um, he's had some. And this is the mod rod. Uh, some issues as of late getting uh, mobile, but uh, he'll be here next week, I'm hoping. And uh, we're going to have his walls decorated and everything by then, and it's going to be really sweet. I really like this too, and I really like this variation of it, especially. Sweet car. All right, next we have Roger Dodger. I think I have four or five of these now. Really, I dig the art on this one, man. The Ruby. Or Gravy, as we used to say when we were kids. Children of the 90s. What can I say? They're young, dumb, and full of whatever. Surf e turf. I'm uh, not sure I have this variation yet. I have the yellow, like the rest of you. Uh, I don't think I had pulled one of this yet, though. Just did, though. Pretty awesome. All right, we're going to move on to number two. And we have the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. Pretty sweet. I got to say, you know, being new to the hobby, you know, or, and a child that was raised in the, you know, I was born in 73. I'm an old guy now. I'm not even going to attempt to say that, but it's a Jesco 2020. Koenigsegg. I hope that wasn't like the really nervous. And there's the Batmobile, Lulu variation. Sweet. I'm also a comic geek, so I absolutely love the Batman. Here's the McLaren Speedtail. Uh, also, this is another uh, one that I have been missing. I have a photographic memory that works most of the time. And, uh, well, I have not opened this one yet. And we have Turbo and Charge. I love it. I like the skull in the front, particularly. Really a cool design all the way around. Uh, my cousins and some of my friends collected these when they were young kids. And uh, I, I played with in the garden, you know. We were, we were rough and tumble. And uh, every year, mine would get plowed up with the garden. And I'd go up and dig them out and dig new tracks and play with them again. They're probably still out in the yard. Skull shaker. A few of that one. And we're on to the third. Boom. Moto wing. Moto wing. Boom, 67 Camaro, personal favorite of mine. Don't ask me why, I've just always loved Camaros. I, I don't know, I don't know what it is. American heavy metal, love it. Put that one over here, that's gonna go over there. Somewhere else. And here's the Sandblaster from the uh, Hot Truck series, number nine to 10. I don't see the logo anywhere for that uh, Treasure hunt. That's really sweet. I don't think I have this one either. I have quite a few trucks out of this series, but uh, I, I don't know. Here's the uh, Stano Auto. Okay, I guess it's from that show. Uh, I tend to overlook this one. I mean, it's sweet and everything, but I, I don't know. Something about it just... Eh. It's me. What can I say? I'm a different breed of cat. There's a custom Ford Maverick. It's another one I really like. I really like the Flame series. Again, I'm a child of the 70s, 
70s and early 80s. Another one that I really dig. 52 Hudson Hornet. Badass, kids. Badass. Say goodnight. We have a winner. Love it. I have quite a few of it. Uh, I don't have this one yet, though. The Dotson Bluebird Wagon 510. Uh, I love it, though. The attention to detail is just amazing in these things. And I, I am a fan when it comes to the Hot Wheels. This maybe have to split this into two videos. It's going to run long, I think. I'm at 10 minutes and some change. Custom Ford Maverick. My hands are beat up right now. I'm also a security guard. And it's really cold here right now, so my hands are taking a beating. Sorry. Here's a Turbo Rooster. Pretty cool. Uh, I have this one. I think there's a couple color variations of this one, too. And I just picked up one of these the other day. Oh, actually, this is Surf's Up. Now, that's really cool. I don't think I have this one, actually. I think I have a different one. So I got a skateboard, I thought. All right, and we have the Tesla Model 3. And I thought this was one of the super treasure hunts you were supposed to be looking for. I hope I'm not looking uh, like a fool holding one right now. But I thought that this was one of the ones you're supposed to look for. Uh, needless to say, it's factory fresh, 9 of 10, and I'm collecting them. I'm a fan of uh, Elon Musk. He reminds me of uh, another wild man, Jack Parsons. Uh, if you watch Strange Angel... Love is the law, love under will. You know what I'm saying. There's the high beam, also from the Tokyo series. Pretty cool. I, I have a, a couple of this one as well. I really like it though. Uh, the color scheme, being a, an artist and uh, painting in oils. I love it when they get it right. There's the 19 Corvette ZR1 convertible. Gorgeous. Love it. So we're going to go off to the side. There's a couple that I'm missing. There's a 73 Ford Falcon. XB. This, uh, uh, regardless, it's one of the flames. So, there you go. All right. McLaren Senna. I really dig this one too, man. I've got uh, a couple of this one as well. Attention to detail is just so gnarly, man. Sexy. There's a McLaren Speed tail. Awesome, I now have two of them. Congratulations, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. And the Linster Prototype. I have quite a few of this one as well. This is another one I kind of dig. I just got into collecting these this year. As a matter of fact, just a couple weeks ago, really. <laughs> another duck and roll. Turbo and charged, once again. Another Linster prototype. There's certain ones that I haven't got yet. There's a 19 Ford Ranger Raptor. Uh, that I'm a little disappointed. Uh, especially after buying the entire, as you can see, case. Custom 18 Ford Mustang GT. I really like this one too. I have quite a few of this one as well. Um, but I haven't got any of the treasure hunts. Uh, I'm a little disappointed uh, out of a case, you know. I, I don't know if, if it's just because it's a display uh, that they don't put them in here or what. But this is the second one of these I've busted. We've still got quite a few to go here. But there's another of the sand blasters. Another 
52 Hudson Hornet. I really dig the du duplication, especially when it's stuff I love, like these custom Ford Mavericks. I love it. I love these uh, base cars. 84 Pontiac Firebird. I remember that car. I remember seeing that car driving through my neighborhood, as a matter of fact. Boom! Custom 18 Ford Mustang GT. Boom! That's mad sexy. I don't care who you are. And wedged in there, we have another Linster prototype. Boom! On to the next. McLaren Sun. Boom! Clarence Speedtail. Boy, this case is loaded with those. And a speed driver. It's got that wrench ass end that I call it. There's tons of these on the hooks when you go into the different stores. I don't think this is a very popular design, but I could be wrong. Boom. Dock and roll. I'm really excited about this one, though, because I've got a little pile of them. I'm going to pop one of these babies open and it's going into my Hot Wheels uh, vintage carrier that I'm going to acquire. And we have another Turbo Rooster. All right, I'm going to set this down. Just a moment. I am whew, starting to sweat. Dress for the occasion. I wore a sweater. All right. We're on to the next batch. Dodge Charger Drift of the Highway Rescue Series. I like this. This is cool. Don't have this one either. That's got to go on my display. And we have a 19 Corvette ZR1 convertible. Really digging that. Now, I hope I'm not shorted. But it, it almost feels like I am. All right, let's just move on. Here's another one. I'm going to stop putting them off to the side for now unless it's something really impressive like a, a treasure hunter. I really like that car, man. Boom, 96. Chevrolet Impala. SS. Sweet. I don't have that yet. I will put that off. And. Geo Terra. And we got another quick bite. My wife likes these. I think they're pretty cool too. I want to race one. On the next one. Aston Martin 177. Very cool. And after that, we have a McLaren P1. I don't believe I have that either. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, now this is a variation on this one, the Skyboat. Is this a 2021 case? Because now I'm, I don't know, I'm getting thrown for a loop here. I have quite a few of that one. I don't have that, that particular one. Here's the uh, 65 Ford Galaxy, and I do believe this is, uh, isn't this a treasure hunt? No, it isn't. I thought it was. Hmm. That's just a sweet ass ride in my neighborhood. All right, rolling along. We got a 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel again. I believe that's the second one of that. And we have another Batmobile. Boom. Blue wheel variation. Should have put it off to the side. Shoot. Oh, yeah. That's an easy one to find. 19 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. That's a mouthful. It's a big truck, too. Very sweet. Don't have this one either, I don't think. 
Um, I do, like I said, I had a lot of trucks, but I don't believe I have that truck. And I was right, the Batman was super easy to find. All right, on to the next. And guess what? Can you say it with me, kids? Another Hudson Hornet. And that just makes me smile. Bella, what are you doing? Jaguar XE SV Project 8. Very, very cool. And now, huh, another variation of the Rip Rod. Very cool, though. Very cool. And the Geoterra once again. GMC Cyclone. And uh, I think we're going to stop there, kids. And I'm going to upload this one and we will bring up the next one. See you in a few.